But here's the most important thing I want to point out this morning. We've been talking about individual encouragement. But we need to be a people of encouragement and of hope. Discouragement limits the spread of hope. D.L. Moody, in a book from about 1888, says, uh, after his traveling at this time, he says, Did you ever notice this? That no man or woman is ever used by God to build up his kingdom who has lost hope. Now, I have been observing this throughout the country, he says, and whenever I have found a worker who has lost hope, I have found a man or woman not very useful. It's kind of a hard line. I think there's truth there. See, when, when as a people gather together, as the church, we are discouragement. And that's who we are as a people. We ought to just hang a sign out in front that says, Hope stops here. Really, because that's the message we're delivering, isn't it? If that's, the, if that's the operative way that we operate within a congregation, that's what we're doing. We're hindering hope. But what's the church supposed to do when they gather? Well, if you look at 1 Corinthians, if you look at Hebrews, you can see a couple of things. Whenever the church is encouraged to gather, we'll go to 1 Corinthians 14. It says, Paul says this, What then shall I say, or we say, brothers and sisters, when you come together, each of you has a hymn, a word of instruction, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. But get this, everything must be done so that the church may be built up. You can do all that other stuff, but if you're not building each other up, what's the point? Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. Paul says this. Actually, read it with me. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. You're not doing a very good job of reading with me. Louder. Not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Catch that encouraging one another. This could have been planted right in the middle of 1 Thessalonians, and it would have worked just fine encouraging one another as you see the day approaching. So what now? What do we do? Here's my simple suggestion, because those were good application points. You can do something with those, but I want to put it down to this issue of prayer. Pray for others. If you want to be an encourager, pray. Jesus says... And I'm not saying any of you are enemies, but Jesus says, pray for your enemies. Why does he say something like that? It's quite fascinating. When you pray with or for your enemies, you all of a sudden have an interest in their well-being. Have you tried it? Pray for somebody who you don't care for, and you'll have an interest in them. Now, translate that to people that you do care for, or that you don't agree with, or whatever it is, anything in that spectrum, and pray for those people specifically, regularly, and carefully, and guess what you might end up doing? Checking in with them to encourage them and see how things are going. If you want to develop a spirit of encouragement, start here. Pray for individual people, very specifically. When I say carefully, I mean, don't pray, God, I wish they would change to all the things I want them to become. No. Pray for them. And if you have an attitude issue, pray for your own attitude. It's amazing. You might actually really be very interested in encouraging somebody because you've been praying carefully, consistently, lovingly for them. We need to have hope in order to encourage others. We need to pray for people that we would be able to encourage them. Encouragement changes people. But if you caught that, I said it could be used in two senses. Encouragement changes me as a person or you as a person. But encouragement changes the people, doesn't it? If we are those people individually, we become those people collectively. We're a people of encouragement. I don't know about you, but I always want to be those people who encourage as the first words out of our mouth. Real, truthful encouragement as we meet together.